All right, guys, welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix. Today, we're going to be looking at GarageBand's live loop features. Let's get over to the screen and I'll show you how easy it is to insert loops and create music to those loops and how awesome the loops are. Let's do it. You're on Emlyn in the Mix, GarageBand Tutorials 3.0, y'all in the house, boom. Alright guys, so let's look at GarageBand's live loop features. Um, basically, I just wanted to show you, it's very cool. So you have a bunch of live loops which are actually already included in GarageBand. So we just click the live loops uh, button up the top here. This takes us through and we've got a bunch of different sound packs. Now this is great for songwriters who are looking for some inspiration or need some ideas on creating some beats or styles of music that they might be wanting to do. Also, this is really good for singer-songwriters as well. If they need to get something down really quickly um, that they can put together and yeah, basically they've got all the tools they need right here in GarageBand in the live loop section. So let's, um, I don't even know, what do you want to do today? Let's do, this looks so interesting. I want to look at Chinese Modern because I actually have no idea. I don't know if it's like K-pop or something. Um, whether it's similar, but let's go into there. We'll just have a quick look at this and then maybe we'll do a different style if it's too trippy. Um, so that's going to pull up our live loop library there. And now what you see here is sort of like, almost like an Ableton Live uh, type layout. So you can see we've got our loops, we've got everything we need here, and we can actually just start creating a song. So if I just uh, tap one of these loops off, and then I can add a loop as we go, another loop, and it'll, it'll sync it in time for me. Some else here, let's play this one here. Get some trippy loops in. Pretty well music here. That looks like a one shot. That's crazy. Um, when I drag my finger, I can actually set all the loops off. Now, the reason why this is so good for singer-songwriters or people just looking for inspiration is because you can sort of just make your own arrangement, as you can see, and when we're ready and we've got something we like, we just hit record. Yeah, I'm not super enjoying that genre, so I'm going to go back to our genres and we're going to get up some more live loops here. Alright, so let's look at, I don't know, let's have a look. Let's look at hip-hop. Here we go. We'll click hip-hop. So it's going to, again, it's going to load all of our live loops that we can play with here and pull them up. There they are there. So now let's muck around with an arrangement and get something that we like and then we're going to record that into our track in GarageBand. So you can see how easy it is to just start creating something, start creating your own uh, song, basically an arrangement, just from clicking on the different um, loops that we have here. Now one thing I did want to point out is that in order to scroll up and down, you can just uh, hit the sidebar here, and that way we can look at all of our tracks. The other thing is you can actually edit the samples, so if you just click this bottom left button here, now we can actually go in and look at our sample, we can either 
delete it, copy it and paste it somewhere else into a different cell um, or we can edit it. Now if we press the edit button here, that's going to pull it up into the GarageBand track finder here. So we can change whether it's a loop, we can change um, the pitch, we can actually change the speed. Because it's already an audio file, this one, we can't particularly change any of the MIDI functions um, per se if it was like a MIDI track or something like that. I'll just show you a MIDI track um, with the edit functionality on. So we get out of there. Um, let's jump up to here. We're, we're still in edit mode here. Um, these ones in the green are actually MIDI, so let's have a look at that. We'll click that and edit. We almost said it that. Yeah, sorry, edit. Boom. All right, so now we could actually edit this if we wanted to. We get into the piano roll here. Edit. There we go. So now we're looking at the piano roll, and here we could actually just change the MIDI. Um, we could just change this note here. We could actually just rewrite a whole other loop and put it into our looping functionality. And to get out of the piano roll, we just hit done. And then that takes us back. Just click anywhere on the screen and then click this bottom left button here. And now we're out of edit mode. Um, so let's go ahead and record something here, okay? And we're going to record this straight into GarageBand. And that's going to actually sequence our recording of what we're actually doing. And probably what we'll do in another video is I'll actually show you how you can create your loops so that you can put them into this live looping function. All right, so we just hit record here. It's going to count down for us. Let's get some going. And there you have it guys, that is a really quick sequence using the live loop function. Really cool because you can really get in there and really make something, all of that sequence live with me, just literally pressing off the loops here and getting them launched off. Uh, that's all we're going to show you for today on Emlyn in the Mix on GarageBand tutorials. Uh, just wanted to show you this really sweet little function and we're going to delve more into how you can create your own loops and import them into these cells here in another video. Alright guys, well thank you so much for joining me on Emily in the Mix. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment section below, and until next time, peace out guys, boom.